Hi folks, today we shall evaluate the Appasami Amok Plus 532 nanometer green laser, which is a popular laser in use in everyday ophthalmic practice. Unlike most reviews, however, we shall review not only new equipment, but equipment which has been used for some years, so that buyers can get a better idea of total ownership experience in terms of product, service and support. So over to the four-year-old Appasami Amok Plus laser. This laser has a rather nice looking console with illuminated switches and ports and even the foot switches are illuminated. On switching on, after the self calibration and temperature check, the main menu is displayed where one may choose various options for laser delivery via integrated laser slit lamp or external slit lamp or laser indirect of thalmoscope or endolaser. Since this reviews only of the console, that's what we shall discuss here. The laser connector is the same as Zeiss connectors, which is perhaps also common to the Alcon Pure Point lasers, but please do check for compatibility. This will allow you an access to a vast variety of high quality peripherals for laser delivery. We tested the laser by leaving it on for half an hour at 22 degrees centigrade and then continuously firing for another half an hour at 400 milliwatts, 200 millisecond duration and 100 millisecond interval. In the entire test, there was no overheating and power delivery interval and duration throughout the test remained spot on, which was indeed excellent. While the console was spotless, there are some important issues which need improvements. Firstly, the console always switches at its default of 200 milliwatt power, 200 milliwatt duration, and 200 milliwatt of interval. While this is a desirable safety feature, some people like to keep the default settings stored. Secondly, we compare the laser output from the supplied fiber optic with the fiber optic from SHOT, which is a Zeiss subsidiary and found that the power output and light distribution to be much poorer when compared to the shot, and that was when comparing an unused upper cable to a four-year-old shot cable. We had to increase the power output from the console by a factor of 1.5 times to get equivalent burns when using the supplied cable. Though Apasami has said that using a non-proprietary cable will change the actual spot size in reference to a spot size displayed on slit lamp, but because the doctor always treats by looking at the spot size on the retina, rather than by what is displayed on the console. Whether this is going to be of any clinical significance to you or not, you have to be the judge for that. The laser should be used at temperatures below 30 degrees centigrade, since in a very hot environment the calibration may not pass, and the life of the console may be seriously jeopardized. In four years of ownership, there hasn't been a single malfunction when used properly. In India, the upper Sami services are considered quite satisfactory, but none were required for this laser. So thank you for your attention and do give us a thumbs up if you liked a review and please do post your comments and suggestions and do share it with your colleagues. If you have any reviews or surgical videos or experiences which you would like to be included in our channel, do drop us a mail on ocularnews at gmail.com. Thank you.